Welcome foolish mortals. I wanted to go over an, a new advent calendar I picked up at Walmart the other day. It is the Funko 13 Days of Spookiness. It's to be done during Halloween. So actually this would be in a few days. But uh, I went ahead and got one now. Since I saw it and I had a little extra money. So let's open it up and see what is all inside. So the top comes off and it opens up. Like that with all 13 days. So let's see what day one brings us. Okay, let's see. Day one. Stupid things that bend. All right. Spoiler alert, if uh, you don't want to know, and you're going to open these one at a time. But, uh, let's face it, no kid likes to wait for Advent calendars. So we're all going to open them. So first up is Freddy Krueger. These are not a mystery mini size. These are what they used to call pocket heroes. Uh, pop pocket heroes size. So you can see he's got his little claw there. So next up is day two. And day two. Oh, cool. Is Beetlejuice from Beetlejuice. And she's in her wedding dress. And and her name is just blanked out of my head. I don't I don't know why. Um, so day three, I remember here in a little while. When you get older, uh, the files are further back in your head, and so yeah, it takes a while for that stuff to come back. There, there's a little guy running back. He'll come back with it later. Jack Nicholson from The Shining. All right, this is day four, if you're following along at home. Oh, cool. Uh, the new Pennywise from the new It. And he is carrying... Either a dead squirrel or possibly a, a puppet of some kind. I don't know. Really small. Day five. Cool. Lost boys. I'm glad they added Lost Boys into this. I didn't know if they'd get into too much 80s stuff. Um, I assume they're going to like drop a Predator or something in here. And I'm kind of hoping it's just like Freddy and Jason and people like that. You know. Hang on a sec. Alright. That's a little better. Okay. Got that out of my way now. Okay, next one up. Cool. Linda Blair from The Exorcist, Regan, looking uh, relatively sick and uh, as if she's already got a little bit of um, soup on her. Uh, quick brink, drink break. By the way, if you're at Walmart and you see the watermelon crush, that stuff's delicious. Uh, free plug to crush. Or not. Not that anybody at Crush would ever see this, but I'd love a case of that. But I'm definitely going to pick up like five or six more of them. It seems to be a limited flavor. And uh, like when Pepsi Clear came out, I bought like four cases of that stuff. Because I really liked it. I might have been the only one, but, you know, they got some money out of me. So next up is Freddy Krueger. This was day seven. 
So Freddy's good to go, ready to kill. I feel because of you know his skin tone, that's probably a later movie Freddy. Number eight. Looks like tourist edition, tour guide, Beetlejuice. And number nine. Annabelle. Who, you know, if legend is true, is still sitting at Zach Bagan's ghost uh, museum back in Vegas. That'd be kind of a cool place to go this time of year. <clears throat> of course, I don't know how open they are. Okay, this is day 10. Day 10, oh, that's cool. The plant from Little Shop of Horrors. Mean Green Killing Machine. Day 11. I'm very happy with this. It's a cool collection of little guys. You know, and there's not a lot of duplicates. There's uh, two from Beetlejuice, but that's not bad. More modern stuff with The Nun. Which, that would be creepy if her eyes glowed in the dark. She's just sitting on a shelf, watching you, judging you. You know, like nuns do. <laughs> Number 12. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's another Pennywise, but it's not classic. It's another It. He's got a red balloon. Eh. I'm kind of disappointed in that. I would have had to have, I'd rather have had the classic Tim Curry one. And then, day 13 is actually a bigger thing. So you got to open up two doors. Oh, you get two on, on what would be Halloween Eve. So the first one from day 13... Cool. I would assume the second one's going to be the other shining sister. That's funny. That's 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 good one, Funko. And it is. <clears throat> Come play with us forever and ever and ever and ever. So pretty cool to get something else from The Shining. Um, actually, overall, I'm I'm very happy with this. This was uh, thirty dollars, if I remember right. But you know, they they have a good mix of classic stuff and new stuff. So um, if you like how horror, and you collect Funko stuff, I would definitely recommend picking up one of these. Um, I, I haven't picked up very many of the others uh, Funko ones just because they're so expensive usually. Um, and sometimes you can get them a lot cheaper if you wait. Um, I don't know if this will get marked down after Halloween um, when that kind of stuff disappears or if you wait. So if you do want to wait, check Hot Topic more often than not. I've picked up a lot of the like Harry Potter and things like that, advent calendars from Funko, for sometimes 50 to 75% off. So those can be really cheap if you're looking for to save yourself some cash. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.